This is Desert Homestead Prepping. Make sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. All right, now we have another job that we need to do. There's lots of little odd and end things that I've, I've been trying to get done and usually I'll be on big projects that take all my time. So having a day like today where I can do a little here, a little there is very valuable because these things need to be done. So I got to figure out this culvert. Let me show you what's going on here. All right, so this culvert, I, I put this here and buried it, but it just isn't wide enough for trailers and stuff like that. Um, we, uh, we had family out here, I don't know, last year, and they had some pretty big trailers that were so wide that they hit each edge of this culvert and bent it in. So we need to widen it up. Now there's, I got a whole nether section that's gonna make it way, not, way wider than it needs to be, but it's better for it to be wider than too short. So you look at this road, this road comes straight this way. So I'm, we're gonna add on to it here, but the problem is when you, when you turn directly around, there's this junk pile here. So this is where that road would go is straight through this. And, and this was here when we bought the property. Um, so this we've added to up there, but this right here must have been, I don't know if it was like an outhouse or a shed. I don't know what it was, but uh, there's all kinds of guck here. It's a, like a bucket of nails. So um, this is a, a trash can full of tar. So we're gonna we're gonna try dragging all this um, flat and covering it. Pull some of the some of this hill down, cover it, and I I think that that'll be the best way to go. So what I got to do is bend this culvert back. So. I think a car jack is probably the perfect tool for that. So let me uh, let me get the car jack. See if we can get it bent in place. We'll pull the other section of culvert over, and we'll start covering it. All right. not going to be perfect but we can at least get it so that it's not so restricted yep going slow I say it's going a little better yeah that's pretty good Okay, a lot better. Alright, we got Gabe trained on the tractor. He's helping to drag the top of this hill down. Drag it down here to this low spot so we can kind of build up the road a bit. It's doing good. It's just kind of going in circles. Pretty tedious. So that's what I got behind me. I <laughs> I just went in circles and circles, just dragging the top of this hill down over here to extend this culvert. Still got some more work to do. Um, <clears throat> we we took the hose out there and got the ground all wet so that it would pack down. And, and now I just needed to go do a final grading. So there's the road. So we, <laughs> we walk over here, you can, you might be able to kind of tell where the, 
where the road used to go to the side so now I just gotta gotta level this out some more I kind of left it like that for the the water to seep in and kind of pack it down and uh, so yeah it's looking a lot better all right guys that's uh that's kind of it for the odd and end jobs um, a few other things that we did and I just I didn't record um, you know extended a little bit more on the porch um, added another spigot to the well so now we can hook up two hoses um, I don't know a little here a little there but uh, that's just kind of how life is out here yeah we got the big projects but also in daily life we got all kinds of stuff we got to deal with and as far as clothing and cooking and trash and organizing and a little bit here a little there and there's there's always something to be done now on to the next serious project which I'm not sure how far we're gonna get on it but we might as well get started and uh, we'll uh, we'll be sure to bring you along and uh, you know hopefully you guys are are learning a little bit um, I know we're learning each step of the way is we uh, work on all these projects each one gives us a little bit more knowledge and more understanding about how to go about doing things and you know there's many things we wish we'd have done differently but that's life so far we're pretty happy with how this place is has been coming along I mean for five years of construction from bare land to everything that we have is is really um, is really a good accomplishment and you know I I just couldn't have done it without my family beside me um, I mean just to, just to think about everything that's needed to be done these boys my wife and you know just the amazing the amazing jobs that we've been able to do that I just couldn't have done on my own so very blessed all right guys so we'll catch you in the next one and uh, you know it'll it'll be fun we'll get going on the outdoor kitchen and uh, hopefully turns out well look at this tornado well this dirt devil that's pretty amazing it's just right on top of us <laughs> pretty cool.